Hey everybody, Captain Kai, the Sea Glass Guy here with the Board Pirate. Taking on a great Sea Glass Sunday in Hawaii. With some of my friends from Denmark here. Say hi to YouTube, everybody. Hi, Finding some great stuff, lots of marbles, um, lots of sea coins, bottles, all kinds of good stuff. You can see there's huge, huge waves. We're getting smashed in here today. Um, I've never seen the tide like this before, uh, but it is a new moon, so maybe it's got something to do with that. So we're gonna be careful, but we're gonna go take a look around, see what all we can find. I'll give you guys some close-ups real quick, and then we can say hi to LC as well. She's actually hanging out way up there. She's on lifeguard patrol. You see her sitting right up top there. That's LC, and she's watching out for us, making sure no big waves come. What you got, man? Anything good? Yeah, I got uh, like four or five red pieces. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see them. Four or five red pieces. Yeah. Nice, dude. We got another buddy over there. He's snorkeling for some glass. Gotta watch out. It's real sharp, though. See those big waves. Got anything really good? Any marbles? Uh, yeah, I just put them in my bag. Oh, that's right. We'll check them out later. Let's see what a handful looks like here. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> just full of, they call these mermaid tears, the little pieces. Yeah. yeah. Look at you guys close up. Inside these little caves look like. You can see back here, you kind of reach in and pull stuff out. You never know what you'll find. I see a cool piece of sea metal in there. But I'm trying to keep the, uh, there we go. A little red one. I'm trying to keep the lens from getting wet. I'm trying my best for you guys. Big, big waves today. So some of the glass we're finding underwater and some of the glass we're finding right on top of the beach. Now usually this part of the sea glass beach is actually a beach. You can like lay on, stretch out, put a towel down. But these huge, huge tides right now are really making that harder to do. But I'll tell you what, it is point bringing up a lot more glass that uh, wasn't here before. The beach is being replenished every night, just everything's shaking around. And we are finding all kinds of really good stuff. Inside these little ridges are the best places to look. Oh, right there, look at that one. Cool. That is awesome. It's like a brown gray or beige, you might call it, sea coin right there. That's a Perfect, perfect old bottle bottle, maybe a candle bottom. That's super sweet. All right, let's keep on going. I'm gonna take you guys on the most extreme sea glass hunting adventure you've ever been on. Just watch. Like I said, pretty dangerous out here today. You gotta watch your head. You don't wanna get bumped on one of these rocks. You can see everything's made of this old fossilized coral. And it's super sharp. It's also super crumbly. Let's see here. See how stuff kind of just falls off the wall there. All right. So in between the waves, you can kind of look down in these little caves. Let's see if we got anything back there worth scooping out. Oh, I think I saw a stopper. Did I get it? Oh, no, just from the side, it kind of looked like a shopper shape, but not a stopper. It's all right. Nothing too good in that cave. Let's keep going. Woo. Beautiful out here though. This part as well usually is a beach, but the tide's up like three feet or so, which is pretty unusual. You know, the tide range, Woo. The tide range isn't so big usually around here, but today for some reason, it's going crazy. Just walking. There's a really good section of the beach right up here, and then we're gonna get in some caves. We're gonna be able to rock climbing, and uh, we're gonna be finding some really, really, really nice sea glass, hopefully. So just bear with me. We're gonna walk over. There's a nice little spot right there. Just beautiful, beautiful sea glass. You can see how the shapes are all jewelry grade almost. Pretty crazy. So this is where I find most of my marbles. 
and I've already found quite a few today. So has everybody actually. Every single person that came with me today has found marbles. So that's good, and there's that one right there. Ah, oh, I missed it. You gotta be really, really, really fast here. Sometimes you only get one chance to grab something, and then it's gone. So moving really fast in between the waves, and just kind of sniping for sea glass. What I caught, a sea marble right there. Just a little baby. A peewee marble is what you call these ones. And that is a nice one. Red. Looking up here in the cave. See if anybody's sitting up in here. A little marble, stopper, orange, something really nice. You just never know. The uh, folks from Denmark over there, they're on a sailboat as well. They're also sailing around. Um, 15 people on a boat. It's actually a little bit smaller than mine. 15, 13 women and two guys. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool story they got going there. So good to meet people from uh, other countries, like Denmark, and take them sea glass hunting with me. I see an orange marble. Woo, right there. That's a nice one. So they're leaving tonight to sail uh, to Granada, which is, I think, a few hundred miles away, and it's the opposite way of the wind, so uh, kind of tough tough sail for them but with that many people I'm sure they got all the help that they need so excited for them and they're all excited to come here and look for marbles with me Ooh, that's a good gray right here too I really like that gray and then just kind of scan in the surface here A little multicolor. Ooh, that's a nice piece there. Yeah, so you just never know what you'll find around here. Hey, there's a piece of an old stopper, I think. That's a nice little white gumdrop. I see a true yellow down here. One of the rarer colors. Look how perfect that true yellow gem is right there. Wow. Some incredible sea glass in here, folks. Definitely uh, get down to Bone Air within the next month. If you can, I'll be here and I'm happy to take people sea glass hunting with me. It's a bit dark up in here, but let's see what we can find. Sometimes what I do is I pull it all out here into the sunlight and then I have a look at it. And that way I find these teals. Ooh, look, there's a little orange, ceramic orange bead there too. All right, let's keep on keeping on. I'm gonna show you guys some other spots here, but hey, so far we're finding some really, really nice sea glass here. We're already up, uh, what, two or three marbles? And uh, no sea coins yet, but I bet if we keep looking, we might find one. That's a nice little piece of amber here. All right, so I got a couple little secret spots that I haven't shown the Denmark people. So let's see, oh, look at that. Perfect little orange right there. Sweet. Okay, yeah, so I got a couple more little caves over here to show you guys. So we're gonna do a little bit of rock climbing and uh, see if we can find them. Here we go. Let's see if I can point this at me for a second. A little bit of a hike in the gym, 30 seconds, and we'll be at the next really cool little spot. Now you can see way down there, there's little beaches and stuff, so we're gonna crawl down in these cracks and see if we can't find some really nice stuff that's maybe washed up in the last day or so. You can see all the way down there. That's a deep drop. So that's a little cave full of sea glass down there. We're gonna try to get into it. Ooh, yeah, you can see there's a lot of fresh stuff 
right here on the surface. All right, let's start off looking down in the cave. We are in the cave now. All right, and you can see it's pretty cool. Lots of waves running through here. It's a little bit dark, so it's probably pretty hard to see. So I don't see anything on the surface there. We're gonna start on this side and kind of pull it back. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's a cool bonfire teal right there. It's got some bubbles in it. Another true yellow. Wow, look at that olive green, it's just a really nice shape. You can even see some uh, white bonfire there too. Decent stuff, decent sea glass. You really want to find a big orange, like that little orange you found earlier, but if you find a nice big one of those, I'd be real happy. And you see there's lots of perfect greens, perfect whites, I and mean, every different shade of everything too. Lots of teals in here. See all those fossilized coral, it's pretty fragile stuff, and uh, try not to think about it, but it falls off constantly. And it might land on your head, but it's worth it. It's a good treasure. Big green chunk there, another piece of bonfire, even some sea metal too. Nice, so maybe I'll make a little pile on the side, I don't want to reach in my pocket all the time. Some people carry bags. Um, some people put it in the pocket and they will hold pieces in their mouth. No wrong way to do it. I like to have an extra spare hand so I can hold the camera, so that's why I don't do the bag thing. It smells like bats in this case. I don't know if you ever smelled bats before. They kind of have a skunky smell to them. Now, they definitely smell a bat or two around here. Wow, just look at these amazing gumdrops, all different colors. Look at those babies. That's a multicolor right there. What we got? Ooh, nice gray gem. Wow, that's beautiful. Another multicolor there. Man, I'll tell you what. This sure does beat. Being in Iraq. I feel like going to war. If nothing else, maybe appreciate everything else in life so much. And gosh, what a great place to be right now. All the chaos in the world that news makes seem like it's happening. You can come to a place like this and it's all gone. Another nice piece of pirate glass there. Really digging deep. Hey, look what we got. I was hoping we'd find one of these. It's a sea coin. What is a sea coin, you may ask? It's any perfect, perfect circle of sea glass, any color. See, that's a 100% perfect circle. You see, there's no big dents or chips or nothing. It's just really nice and frosty all the way around. That is sweet. We'll put that in our little pile right there that we got going so far. Just from what we found right here. Amazing how many different shades of green there are. Oh, nice gray. Yeah, it's easy to stay cool hanging out in these caves, being wet. Always beautiful here in Bone Air. Never rains for more than five minutes at a time, it seems. Just enough to keep some of the stuff green. Love finding sea foams. Ooh, I see another multicolor piece. A little bonfire green and white. Hey, look at that. All right. Now that is a beautiful, beautiful jewel. True yellow again. Let's put that in the sunshine for a second. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, 
You'll see a little bottle handle there. Pick that up too. Oh, we'll put that stuff in our pile. And uh, let's keep digging in there. Last time I was in this cave, I found a domino. These dominoes are pretty rare. Ooh, wow, look at that color. That's a good one too. Nice citron. All right, let's see here. Sure is a good workout. This stuff is heavy. Dang, just perfect pieces. Insane. They're, this is a very rare type of sea glass beach. Most glass beaches I go to do not have this quality of pieces. They're just so well worn. It's really amazing. I feel super lucky to be here. I had originally gotten a tip as to which side of this island the sea glass was at. Uh, but I didn't know exactly. So. On one of my other YouTube videos, we actually used a drone and a sailboat, and we sailed this coast and flew the drone alongside the beach. And using that, we were able to find uh, these sea glass beaches, at least one section. And then I swam in from the boat and started pulling up all kinds of good stuff. Lots of lights in here, huh? Alright, maybe we'll check another little cave. This one seems to be running out. Looking up top here. See a little black button. Nice black button. Ooh, big gumdrop there too. Put all this stuff in our pile. Look at how much nice things we found. Keep digging up right here. And sometimes it's nice to wear some shoes and do it. I don't always wear these water shoes. Uh, the problem with water shoes a lot of times is they're just not tight enough up here, so a lot of stuff gets stuck in my shoe. Um, so I, I've got probably as much sea glass in my shoe right now as most of y'all find on the day. I'll tell you what, look at that, another yellow, and look at that. Woo, really nice sea foam with a tiny piece of seaweed on it. Dang, two big yellows. That's that's a treat. Let's do a little rock clip in here. And then we're gonna go check out some other caves that are actually a little bit more dangerous than this one. Hey, what we got down there? A little red chip. I'm gonna put that right in my pocket so I don't lose it. That's a tiny one. See? Hey. Wow. That's cool. Wow. What do you think that went to? Huh. Let's give that a little rinse under in the cave here. Cool. I'm keeping that. There's some weird stuff in here. Never know what you find in a cave, right? Seafoam gem. All right, little domino tile. Those are always cute. I like the domino tiles. All right, let's sit back just a little more in here. Just in case. We just found that yellow, so there's a chance there's some other stuff. I don't know what that is. If I kept all the weird stuff I found, my boat would get filled up quick. Definitely smells like bats. All right, so I'm gonna put this stuff in my pocket real quick. Wow, just incredible finds. All right. Find some really good stuff here. Sometimes I keep my mask on my head so that when I look up too fast or a wave pushes me into the rocks, I don't bump my head as much. Better to bump my goggles. I'd rather scratch them than scratch my face. 
All right, dropped a few pieces, but I think we got most of them. Cool, that was a good little cave. Now there's another little one, just on the back side here. Looking down in there. Kind of hard to reach. Oh, I see a sea coin back there. Better get it before the water does. Oh, it's a tight crawl. You guys see it? Oh no. Got it. Just in the nick of time. Heck yeah. Now I'll grab this white too. That's another nice. Just beautiful white thing. All right. Another sea coin. Just washed right up. We were looking in that cave just a minute ago. Whew. Okay, wow, look back here. See, so there's a lot of fresh stuff in there, but this is a very small little cave. As you can see, I gotta get down in there. Uh, but should be able to. Whew. Alright, cave. It's kind of a smelly cave. Got a lot of trash in it. Most of the plastic floated away, but this heavier plastic made for shoe soles is seems to stick around. And then all the metal kind of disintegrated for the most part. All the organic stuff kind of composted. <laughs> Back in this cave. Dark in here. <laughs> kind of hard to see. Trying to spot a sea coin or something. Pushing this stuff down. Now there's a huge rock very precariously hanging above my head. Get in, get out on this one. And I'm not really seeing anything in this section. And I have a ton of battery left. So I want to take you guys on a really cool adventure. Do a little bit of extreme sea glass hunting. Look at that, another beige gray there. Some hot work. All right, so like I said, don't know how much battery I got left. So if this video cuts out, you'll know what happened. But here we go. Let's go up and over here. Really good place to have shoes on because um, it's just so sharp. But not just that. There's cactuses everywhere. And you don't want to mess with them. So another thing you got to be careful with, is see there's some big, big waves rolling in. And they jump these rocks. And if you get knocked off and stuck in here, you are done for. Because this stuff is sharp. Oh, but there is such good sea glass down here. It's worth risking it sometimes. So that's what we're going to do. And we can kind of look from above. And then you gauge the wages. Jump in and jump back out before the wave comes. Just don't get stuck. All right. So I see some sea glass back there. Looking over here. See one good size wave, but I got about five seconds. So jump over here and let me just show you how sharp this stuff is look at the sides of this coral crazy right about as sharp as glass is all right so let's turn around and look down in here uh, don't see any big big waves coming so i should be able to get in this cave at least till the next set comes okay what do we got oh. Look at that, a gray, a yellow, and a big white. All in one grab. Not too shabby. Got a nice sea foam there, a little bonfire sea foam. Okay, keep checking behind me. Make sure no big waves are coming. I'm just kind of perusing through there. What do you got for us, Cave? Ooh, hold on, everybody. I saw a red right before the wave came. Dang. Where did you go, little red? It was just an itty bitty one, but they're always worth picking up. One of those guys. Well, it's a shell. Those are pretty neat, huh? All right, I'm not seeing anything too out of this world in here, so I think we're gonna move on to another little cave. Whoa! All right. Yeah. It's getting hectic in here. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh. Sea coin. Woo. Washed right up. It's crazy. Just when you think there's nothing. That's a big one, too. 
Wow, having some good luck with sea coins. Let's see what else we can find. Right, oh, big wave. Stand up on the rocks tall. Hold on a second. Woo! You can feel the rock shaking. Another big one. All right, now look from above. If I see a big blue, big orange, big red, I'm jumping in that water. And jumping right back out. This is some of the most dangerous sea glass hunting you can do. But it's also some of the best sea glass you can find. So, gotta compromise. Hey, I see a big yellow down there. See if you can grab that. Nice one. Apologize for my hands, they're pretty rough these days. I do dig through rocks and glass for a living. I've also been having some motor problems on the boat, so. Uh, you know, that work always seems to chip up your hands a little bit too. All right, I hope we don't get swept out of here by a big wave. But, woo, look back in there. This is the kind of place you only get one chance to grab stuff you see it. You gotta be quick. Let's check the other side, I didn't see anything there. Whoa. Uh -oh. Water's coming up and over on us. Well, found a little yellow in that one, found a sea coin in the other. See, it's really rough right here now. Sometimes I'll goat that wall, but I might get swept off today. So I'm gonna go up and over. Let's do it. Oh, big iguana. Where'd you go, buddy? Let me get a picture. There was a huge iguana just there. Sorry, I missed it. See a crab. Walk through these weeds here. Now you gotta be careful because a lot of these pieces, like I said, they are crumbling. If you fall down one of these hills, it's not gonna feel good. Lots of, lots of trash here. We just try to pick up as much trash as you can, but uh, when you're somewhere like a landfill, like right, right now, you really ain't making much of a difference. Let's see, here. don't fall on me. Whoa, look at that. Oh, shoot. Looking down in here. Everything's lined with coralline. Okay, I see a little oasis back here. Let's see what's going through. Whoa, rock's moving on me. Right, what do we got in here? Usually this has got a good little beach in it, but today a lot of stuff's been washed out, it looks like. I'm still giving it a quick scan just in case. You never know what you might find. Whoa! Hoo, hoo, hoo. A square! Perfect, a sea reel, as I call them. You know, like the old coins, they were square called reels. Yeah, a sea reel. All right, I'm making names up, but it's fun. Wow, that's sweet. Worth walking all this way for sure. That is a big piece. All right, well, I think this is kind of the end of the road for today. It's uh, pretty hazardous down there. It's tough walking around in this water and holding the camera. And whew, I think we got most of the good stuff that was at least on the surface. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, now I'm gonna try to get us back to our friends from Denmark as quick as I can. So let's go on a little hike together and we'll see what they've found. Hopefully we got enough battery to keep it going. Woo!
We're really up high now. That'd be a good fall. My rocks, I mean my shoes are just filled with sea glass. Kind of makes it a little more difficult to get around and land those jumps. Let's see, what's our best way? I think down. Ow, dang. Just put one of these thorns right in my hand there. Ouch. Whoop. All right, be careful. Don't want to die. All right, let's wait for this wave. Cool. All right. We hop across. Hop scotch. All right. Whew. Parkour. Oh, that's a big jump. All right. Hey, we're back to the sea glass beach. Pretty quick, I'd say. There's people from the Denmark over there. Sorry for the shakiness. We're doing a lot of moving on this one. If anybody wants to come be my cameraman, it sure would make my life a lot easier. So we're back to this section where I was finding a lot of marbles. Saw a purple. Just saw a purple. It's moving quick though. There it is. Alright, it's a piece of cloth. Dang. You gotta be quick. And even then, you don't always get what you think you saw. Still looking for those marbles. They just kind of pop up. They're always rolling around in here. And you won't see them, and then all of a sudden they'll just be right in front of your face. I always pick up the little cobalts. And this is a good place to snorkel too. We can go underwater and find quite a bit of glass here. Let's keep it going. Really appreciate everybody watching today. Hope you enjoyed our adventure. And uh, if you don't mind, please subscribe. Feel free to share the video. If you could like this video, I'd appreciate it too. Wow, I know we haven't put out a video in yeah, a couple weeks now. I just, just got the bone air and uh, really loving this place. Been working on my boat basically for three years doing repairs, so it's so nice to finally just get to enjoy it for a minute. So, took a little break and uh, we're back though now. Let me show you guys what it looks like underwater if you'd like. Put on my mask here. All right, let's look underwater and see what we can find.
Murphy. Can't beat that. Fresh marble. Hey guys, how's it going? Nice. More sea coins. Cool. Yeah. Really good place. Yeah, it's fun, huh? Yeah. Now we're looking for my boat on there. Heck yeah. See that handful there, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful little pieces, huh? Yeah. Oh, all over the place. And a little marble. You found a little marble? Something that oh, maybe yeah, has a little been a little chipper one there. <laughs> Nicely done. What am I doing? Oh man, that pockets are loaded. Big waves. A lot of good stuff. Pretty good. Big one.
Yeah. A little rough, but pretty fun. So we're back on the boat now. We brought all of our finds to show y'all. And so uh, one time we're gonna show you everything we found today while we were sea glass hunting. We'll try to get some sunshine on them best we can. Wow, those are some amazing ones. Which one's your favorite? Uh, this big red one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and the one you lost. Wow. <laughs> That's a nice one right there. Put some sunshine behind it. Cool. Good piece. Thanks. Those some really, really nice finds. All right, man. What'd you got? What's your favorite find? So I think I got two favorite finds. This turquoise one and this uh, orange one. Oh, yeah. Those are both awesome pieces, yeah, amazing, too. man. Cool. Let me see them for a sec. There you go. There you go. There. Wow. Cool. That was your first sea glass hunt ever. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. What are your favorite yeah. finds there? Uh, maybe this one? Oh yeah, that's an awesome marble right there. Yeah? Let me hold that one on the side. Cool. Which of you found the most marbles? Uh, I found three. I have this one. Three, three, yeah, three. None. none? And how none. did you get? Three as well. Three, three, and three. Wow. Oh, still pretty good. <laughs> Alright, and wow, you did really good. Yeah, huh? I found a bunch of trash and then I found what I like the most. <laughs> wow, you got two sea coins, man. Yeah, that's a lucky find. And then I found those two models, which I think was pretty amazing. Yeah, wow, yeah, those are really good ones. Cool. LC, what'd you find? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, this is what I was able to pull up. I think one of my favorite finds today is this little lady here i got her holding a piece of sea glass i guess it could be a dude 
<laughs> what do you guys think? Woman, man? Dude. So yeah, that's dude. Fat guy. Fat guy. Yeah. Fat guy. <laughs> Fat guy had a piece of sea glass. <laughs> um, these yellows I found are pretty bad. I really like those. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I got a square sea coin. I don't find very many of these. A sea reel. That's so perfect. Some scrap, scrap bottles. Yeah. And then a uh, big marble there. It's a pretty good one. It's a really good one. This is a pretty sweet sea coin here too, this yellow one. Yeah. Cool, so lots of good finds. I found uh, a few marbles today. Dang. But yeah, what do you guys think? First sea glass hunt ever? I think it was fun. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. It's thought about doing it for, uh, for findings, but it was actually fun. Yeah. yeah. And now you guys are headed to Grenada. Venezuela in the next what yeah. hour? Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, are you excited to sail away? Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect weather today, so might be a good sail. Cool. Nope. Hopefully. Yeah. And you guys will be in Venezuela in two days. Yeah, exactly. So cool. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching the Sea Glass show today, and I uh, hope you guys have some happy hunting wherever you're at. Say so goodbye, LC. She needs to get back in the water. Mm-hmm. <laughs>